What's up, everybody? It's your man's KJ the Great dropping another edition of All Sports Media TV. But first, I want to say, I hope and pray everything is great your way. Now, let's get to it. So, epic night on the zone, boxing, women's boxing. Man, I told you guys about this card, uh, I think about a couple months ago or so. Uh, two undisputed showdowns. First undisputed showdown was a super featherweight uh, undisputed showdown between Alicia the Bomb Bomb Gardner and the Diamond Mikhail. I cannot say the Elham Mikhail. If I say the names wrong, don't kill me. But yeah, it was a really good fight with them. Uh, this fight. I, I man, I told you guys I thought uh, the bomb guarder was going to win this fight. Um, I thought, in my opinion, you know, go back. I thought, you know, she might be able to get a stoppage or she will cruise to a unanimous decision. But I was kind of worried there. I ain't going to lie. Um, after about the third round, she knocked her down twice. And I was just like, man, she's uh, Alicia Baumgartner. She's stepping off the gas. You know, she's looking tired and she's leaning over that front leg and not really letting her hands go. And you know, um, Al Mikhail, she came to fight. You know, she put up a really, really good fight. Um, I thought it was, you know, um, I thought it was pretty close. Um, it should have been closer, but you could still give it a unanimous decision um, in her favor. But it was it was awesome. It was a great showdown. Um, you know, it, a bunch of other great fighters was in the crowd. Also, I wanted to say that... Um, Michaela Mayer was in the crowd and you know they had to spruce that up a little bit for the rematch and hopefully we'll get that rematch at some point. Hopefully we get that rematch, uh, you know, uh, in a few months. We never know, man. But congratulations goes out to Alicia, the bomb, bomb Gardner, the undisputed WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO, Ring Magazine champion undisputed in my top five pound for pound female boxes right now congratulations now we're gonna move on to the main event of the night it was the featherweight undisputed championship between the real deal amanda serrano versus erica cruz man all right so let's talk about this fight so Erica Cruz, this was your typical, some people say this was your typical Puerto Rico, uh, Mexico battle. And when I, the fight first started, I gave the first round, you know, kind of the edge to uh, Amanda Serrano. But Erica Cruz, man, she was a freaking beast warrior up in there, like never say die type fighter. You could almost call her a female Rocky the way she was fighting. Uh, I mean, they, at about the third or fourth round, they had like a clash of heads and it was it was a bad gash on the top of Erica Cruz's head. And that kind of changed up the whole thing, because I thought I was thinking in my head, you know, if Amanda Serrano don't pick it up and start moving her head, she's getting hit with these body body over the top shots. And I mean, I was giving Erica Cruz a bunch of those early rounds just off of that because she was connecting with them and just throwing it wasn't nothing technical about it she wasn't nothing just too savvy about it she would just come for it boom 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 come for it boom 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 but that little blood coming down in her eyes man it was it, it made whoo man like you know she was you know trying to get that blood up out of her face and trying to get it to stop and her corner was trying to get it to stop and you know the fight went on um there was no knockdowns in this fight it looked like um probably about like the eighth seventh or eighth round uh, Amanda Serrano, she kind of started to catch win her second win, and was she seemed like she almost um, could have knocked Erica Cruz down, but she just couldn't get it. Erica Cruz, man, I give her her props. You know, hands down, like she did not quit at all. And in my opinion, this fight, I don't know what the judges were seeing that I wasn't because the spreads were so wide. And Erica Cruz fought really, really good in this fight. It was, I don't know if it was 97, 93 type of spread or 98, 92 type of spread on, you know, I'm like, I don't know about that. It was, 
definitely closer in my opinion but i'm not the judges argue with the judges you know i just told you guys in my last video and i will pin that down in the uh description box so you can go back and watch it that i said both alicia Baumgartner and amanda serrano will win this fight now the joy about her winning this fight let's talk about it it's none other than undisputed lightweight champion katie taylor was ringside to watch this fight and yes after the fight she got in the ring you know they spoke to amanda serrano they spoke to katie taylor eddie hearn got in the ring and he said the fight between katie taylor and amanda serrano taylor serrano 2 is set already for may 20th yep and it will be in ireland this time i won't give my thoughts on this one you're gonna have to stay tuned for the next video for that one but that's all i got for you guys Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at All Sports Media TV. Follow me on my other Instagram at KJTheGreat09. Make sure you like and share these videos. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Hit that like button. Hit the bell icon. Y'all know I got a bunch of stuff coming. I got some more stuff coming for y'all. Got a little promo stuff I'm going to do in the next video. So be ready. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Peace.